There are a thousand one reviews and videos on the brand new HomePod mini, but very few of them are talking about the best reason to get one. And if you're an Apple fan, then you're probably into HomeKit. And if you want your HomeKit home to work the way that it should, then you definitely want a HomePod mini with thread inside. And as a bonus, I have a second best reason that you're gonna to wanna to hear. So definitely stay tuned towards the end of the video. And if you never heard of thread before, it is simply a low power, low Low latency self-healing mesh communication which the HomePod mini is the first device from Apple that has it. So what does this all mean in layman's terms for the everyday consumer that just wants an awesome smart home that works? In a nutshell, once you pick up a HomePod mini and put it in your house, you'll have a thread network which they consider this HomePod mini a border router which communicates with other thread devices like the brand new Nanoleaf bulb and the Nanoleaf light strip which then will create a secure mesh network of smart home devices within your house that can communicate with each other so for instance if you have a hundred devices and one goes out it can actually reroute the communication to where it needs to go without you doing anything in addition to the self-healing properties of a mesh network it can actually extend your network out to further locations in your house and I actually did a test of this recently with these thread devices so to test this out, I had the Nanoleaf light bulb here in the studio. I took the HomePod mini to the other side of the house, which is about 30, 40 feet away, and came back in here to see if I can turn on the, the light bulb and it worked just fine. And it was super fast. When I originally had this set up with Bluetooth, which is notorious for being super slow, and it took anywhere from two, three, five seconds, and sometimes it even lost communication altogether. But when I hooked up the the thread network or just turn I the only way the only thing you need to do to turn on thread is turn on this device um, once I did that the speed was almost instantaneous as soon as you hit the tile the light turned on by the way if you do want to confirm that your device is running on thread there is an app called controller for HomeKit. you can actually go into the services in this app and you can see that it's actually running on thread so once I knew that it was working across across the, the house, I decided to take the HomePod Mini and plug this in one level down on the main level. I tried it and unfortunately that did not work. So then I took the narrow leaf light strip and plugged this in upstairs on the other side of the house and tried to reconnect to the light bulb and instantaneously it came right on. So I wanted to take this one step further and I actually dropped down the HomePod the Mini into the basement, kept the Nano Leaf light bulb or light strip on the top level and came back in here and test the light bulb and I have great news, it turned on almost instantaneous. So I hope you can see how exciting this is for the future of Smart Home. One, it's super secure. Two, it's a self-healing mesh network that's super fast, faster than other protocols out there. And three, Apple has now adopted it, which means that other companies are going to jump on the bandwagon and we're going to get products for thread networks up the wazoo. Now there's still a lot of questions to be asked and answered about this great new technology. Recently, I had a conversation with one of the VPs over at the Thread Group asking him some general questions that the everyday consumer might ask. He mentioned that back in 2015, they actually tested this with 250 devices and they didn't have any issues. He went on to mention though that today's devices have a lot more memory than they did five years ago. So in theory, a thread network could handle hundreds more now. And he says they can all act as a border router. If one happens to go down, the other ones will take over with no hiccup whatsoever. Plus, I think if you have multiple border routers, that's just going to add to your mesh network, make it stronger, and also extend the distance.
Unfortunately, he couldn't comment on that. Nano Leaf did release the first two for HomeKit, the Nano Leaf Light Strip and the Nano Leaf Bulb, which I'll be doing a full review of both those products. Um, if you guys want to check that out right up there. Eve has also announced that their 2020 model products, um, even though it has the same name as their previous models, it is only their 2020 products that are going to get their firmware update that has the threat technology. And then after the year, I expect a lot more thread products coming out on the market simply because Apple has now adopted it. And anything that Apple does, everyone jumps on the bandwagon and everyone gets with it. So we can definitely expect a lot more thread products. And what he mentioned is that yes, it could be done. It could run off the same technology or same chipset as a Zigbee product, but more than likely what the issue is, is the amount of memory that's built into that product. And that's the, going to be the hiccup with these previous products that you might already have in your house. So with that being said, your current HomeKit products will still work with the HomePod mini, which has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and the new thread technology, which leads into my next thing is this thread technology can lead into more products that are not supported just specifically for HomeKit. Currently though, in the specs of the HomePod mini, they do say that the thread box still has to work with HomeKit. This new thread technology will also lead to a more universal standard for smart home communication. In the last few years, major players in the smart home industry like Amazon, Apple, Google, and Zigbee have all teamed up in what's called the CHIP project. And this will lead to a, like a standard communication standard where a consumer could easily just walk into a store, find a product they like and bring it home and not worry about compatibility. They don't have to worry about working with Alexa or with Google or with HomeKit. They just find something they like and bring it home and it will just work. And if you want to hear more about the chip program or dive deeper into Thread, my friend Chris from HomeKit Geek, he is going to do a video diving really deep into this stuff. If you guys want to check that out, I'll put a link right up there. See how exciting this is for Smart Home. I know I'm pumped up about this. This is really going to change the Smart Home industry moving forward. Thread is the future of Smart Home and it is here today. It is great, great stuff. The second reason why you're gonna want a HomePod Mini, and that is because it has UWB in it, which is ultra wide band. And what that does is allow devices within your home to know where it is within your home or what devices are closer to your HomePod Mini compared to another HomePod Mini. So if you have a phone with a U1 chip in it or um, UWB chipset in it, it'll be able to tell you which room which home pod is closer to so you can go back and go get it now that's not only limited to iPhones it's going to be in the brand new air tags and I can't tell you when air tags gonna be released yes I've talked about it a million times on this channel and um, I think it's gonna come very very soon or at least I'm praying and hoping that it will because I'm super excited about air tags and what ultra wide band is going to do for the everyday consumer and for the smart home because there's other benefits to this ultra wide band also but with air tags and uh, the ultra wide band being in your phone it's really going to improve the smart home industry also so um, you guys gotta get a home pod mini if you're into apple stuff it is definitely well worth the 99 dollars and with thread in it and ultra wide band the future is here here now. Thanks for watching. Also want to thank my Patreon members. These guys are awesome. If you want to learn more about Patreon and how you can support this channel through Patreon and what benefits you get, definitely check out my Patreon page right there. And if you're into HomeKit, smash that subscribe button down below because I got a lot more HomeKit products coming to this channel. Check out that next review in my HomeKit series and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.